Hey YouTube, it's Thomas again. So today I wanted to do a second video on the RS6 uh, monitor audio. And as you, uh, for those who have seen my other video, um, I did a, a review on it and I really loved it. Uh, I thought that they were incredible performing speakers for the price. And me and my buddies were quite blown away by them. The only catch with them, as I mentioned in my other video, is that you need a very good power amp uh, and ideally a good preamp to go with it, right? So, you know, given the fact that they were pretty impressive, I was always wondering how would they sound in a regular home theater setup? Now, as you know, most people who own a home theater these days run uses a, reg, uh, a very simple um, AV amp, right? Uh, in my case, I have a Pioneer 7.1 uh, receiver. Sure, it does, uh, you know, Blu-ray decoding, uh, Dolby DTS high def and so forth, right? But it's still a 110 watt uh, amp and it's 7 channel plus D. So how, how does it sound with this uh, these speakers? Um, I was curious. So when a set came online, I went out and buy it right away. So, you know, it, it actually sounds like the way I expect it to be. As, as you know, the RS6 are very bright by nature and without a good power amp, uh, you're not able to bring out the bass. Anything that's 125 watts, you're not going to get bass with them. Uh, right now, in fact, um, to listen to music, I have it set up differently. You see, I have two, two pairs here, right? So one for home theater and one for music listening. For music listening, I have it paired with um, my AccuFace C222 with uh, XSound E28 DAC and I couldn't take it with the P266 125 watt AccuFace. I thought it was too bright. Um, as you know, as I've, as I've been mentioning, 125 watt is not enough to drive these speakers. When you lack bass, it's going to sound harsh. So I had to go take out, I had to take out my old uh, Macintosh MC2100. Now these uh, this uh, amp is fantastic. It's only 105 watts, right? Now, why would I use this over 125 watts, right? Because for some strange reason, the Macintosh, I think they, they, they push the, uh, the bass on it to the max. So, whatever any speaker I drive with these Macintosh, I get a lot of bass with it. Now, it might be, you might say that, man, then the sound might be very colored. Yeah, you're probably right. But I like color sound. I, I don't like uh, speakers that are too neutral, transparent. I like a setup where you can have garbage in and still have good sound coming out, right? Uh, my friends, some of them, they like you know garbage in, garbage out. So, you know, the whole setup doesn't change um, the, the, the music, but I'm not that kind of person. That's why I like Macintosh. They're, they're colored, right? So back to the uh, RS6S uh, home theater setup. For me, I think that these will be ideal if you have uh, Emotiva XPA5 300 watt um, power amp. I had that one before. It was quite smooth for a uh, home theater setup. It's not that good for music listening. Well, at least not for me. So if you can get yourself maybe an Integra 9.1, uh, 9.2, that model. I had that model before so I can talk about it. Uh, that combo of the XPA5 with these uh, home theater speakers should sound fantastic. When I pair it with my Pioneer regular home theater that you know everybody has these days, um, it's a bit bright. Uh, in fact, uh, the person that I bought it off, he had a Marantz, uh, gosh, I forgot the model, I'll probably list that in the description. And he had these very good speaker cables. Now, when I say good speaker cables, I mean you know, more than those, uh, the regular, like these pink color ones, right? Uh, the ones that you get for like 10 bucks, uh, at, I don't know, at the source or future shop. Uh, he had these very nice uh, speaker cables that were custom made. Uh, actually, it worked against him because it was too clear. There was too much clarity and it was harsh. So, in fact, he told me that uh, at Regular listening volume is okay, but the second you start pushing the volume up, um, it hurts his ears too. Um, he had to buy a 15-inch subwoofer to to 
to add bass to the whole setup, right? So as I mentioned, when you drive these speakers with anything that's less than 300 watts, you're not going to get bass with them. Uh, for those who actually own them and think that they sound fantastic uh, with a regular AV receiver, you're missing out. Put them with something that is more powerful or more smooth, like a Macintosh like this, you're going to get amazing sound from them. Um, regardless, even at 120, 110 watt, 125 watts, they're still better than, let's say, uh, I don't know, my Bose Cube here. Okay, I, I know I'm not being fair in comparing all bookshelf speakers. Uh, my original setup is more uh, a bookshelf speaker setup. Uh, in that sense, yes, there's more bass. But in the home theater setup, you, you know, your, your bass is going to come from your subwoofer, right? So for me, it's not that important. What is important for me is that it doesn't sound harsh. And with a regular AV receiver, you're, you have to be careful with... Uh, with the choice of cables, I guess, right? Uh, you, if you put cables that are too good with it, it actually might work against you. Now, the good part about them is that they're very, the, the clarity is amazing, right? So if your current uh, setup, and you know you find that sometimes the vocals or the dialogues are not too clear, then this will solve your problems. They're crystal clear. You can hear the dialogue like really, really good. Um, so what about music listening as i mentioned of course you, you can't compare to to my other setup you know just that it, now the, all these more um the, these gears are made more for music listening um but even though it's slightly harsh as long as you don't push the volume too high it's actually not too bad uh, for speakers in that in this price bracket right uh, I've owned a few speakers in this price bracket, budget speakers, and for me, they perform as in their price bracket. So it's not like they're gonna wow you or wow me in a home theater setup. Uh, they only wow me when I have, you know, when I, when I start driving with dedicated gears that are for stereo listening. Now, that's not true for all budget speakers. I have put budget speakers with my stereo setup, and after five minutes, 10 minutes, I, I put them away. Uh, these monitor audios are one of the rare budget speakers, if probably the only budget speakers that I've come across that I would use it for stereo listening uh, with my stereo you know, setup, right? The rest of these budget speakers, they never made, they, they never last long here. Um, so if you have any questions regarding, you know, using it as a home theater setup, uh, put it in the comments. Um, I, I personally think that for a regular home theater setup, you know, any uh, it, it doesn't provide value more than any other speakers in the same price range. For example, the Paradigm, um, the Paradigm 11 V7, the latest model, uh, I had that before. It's probably on par with it when it comes to a home theater setup. Um, other speakers are like Infinity. I had the Infinity Beta 50 also. That that was actually pretty good. Um, that one, I, I actually prefer that one. That one was actually more warm. Uh, as I said, in a home theater setup, right? Uh, but once, you know, for music listening with the proper gear, the, these uh, RS6 really shine. All right, thanks.